That's a good looking putt. Be enough. Be right. Go in. Roll in the hole. Disappear. Disappear. All right, guys, we are back for our break 60 challenge from the forward tees. Today we are at the Camp Creek Golf Club Tom Fazio Design. Whew, exciting times. Behind me is the Camp Creek Inn, newly opened hotel. I had uh, a power breakfast at the 1936 breakfast. Oh, highly recommend it. Link in the video description below. We are gonna play the Burgundy Tees here today. 5,174 yards. Can we break 60 here today? Let's get started. First time we played this, we played it back at 7,100 yards. Burgundy, 5,174. First hole here is a 262-yard par four. The mindset today is aggressive, smart. I don't know if those two words even combobulate together in my brain, but we're gonna make it happen today. Smart, aggressive play. All right, bam, let's start it off now. That's for you, the counter. 262-ish, I got three wood in my hand. I think we can get the front, front of the green here. Pretty good. We're putting. Putting out of the gate. Good shot out of the gate there. Little three wood. I think what's important is it's always good to go and work on your mental aspect of the game. That's what this whole challenge, Break 60, is all about. Working on our mental game, our tee shot game, which is critical for going low, and our short game, chipping and putting. Because we're gonna have a lot of those. We've got this long 45, 50 foot putt. Definitely slopes down quite a bit, downhill, pretty much all the way. It's just a matter of feeling it. Looks like it swings quite a bit this way. How cool would it be to just to drop an eagle right out of the gate? Settle down. Turn right, turn. Oh! Oh my gosh! I hit the flag stick. I hit the flag, oh man. This would be good in my book. I think we're calling it good. All right, first birdie of the day, first hole of the day. We're off to a great start at a course I've only played one time. Camp Creek, greens are pure. It looks like they have a little dusting of sand, but man, that thing did not hit one bump. It was glass. I was telling myself on that second putt, it's good, it's good, I'm, I mean, it's good. It's good, I'm giving it to myself. Like, that's what I was saying in my, I was out loud, so that I was convincing myself that you're just not gonna miss. It's a little two and a half foot tapping. That was my mental approach. This is good, this is good. Like if you're playing with your buddies, they're gonna be like, that's good, pick it up. Second hole, uh, 262 yard par four. I'm gonna go with three wood here. Pretty aggressive play. We wanna avoid left for sure, but I don't wanna lay up with like 200 and have 50, 40, 30 yards and that's a really difficult shot with where that pin is. I don't mind being that front right bunker at all. I'd rather have a bunker shot than a 40 yard shot, so. Three wood it is. Just hit that bunker on the right. It's either in it or just short of it. Came up just short of that bunker and I'm not in the tight fairway, which I believe this is zoysia grass, which I wouldn't mind being in that. That's pretty nice fairway. It's almost like cheating, but I'm just in the first cut of Bermuda and the collar, it's, Perfect, sitting up, should be able to just get it on, roll it to the hole. Just think you're Deion Sanders here. That's how good you gotta think you are when you're hitting these tricky shots. All right, took a big kick forward, but we got a good birdie putt to look at it. We have a nine footer here, breaker from left to right. 
outside. I pick where I want it outside the hole, then I draw a line straight back and it gives me my spot to aim at just in front here. So I've got my spot like right there and that's what I set up to. That was close. That lipped in on the low side. Those don't normally go in. We had the right speed, that's for sure. And I guess we had the right line. All right, two under, two holes. Keep it crushing. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that and get the bell notification so you don't miss any of these. We're off to a good start. Why Dion Sanders, a non-golfer? Well, that guy is the most confident person there is. He believes in himself like more than anybody I've ever seen of recent note. Look at me. What about me would make you think that I care about your opinion of me? Your opinion of me is not the opinion that I have of myself. You ain't make me, so you can't break me. You didn't build me, so you can't kill me. So I was channeling my inner Deion Sanders for that little hit shot over the bunker. Because those are scary. And now we have to start dealing with internal mental fears and doubts and nerves because we're two under through two. And that's exactly what we want. That's the purpose of challenges like this, playing like this. This here. Physically, you can do it, but can we do it mentally? <laughs> that's the hardest part of this game. Third hole here. It's a 414 yard par four. Now from the tips, there's a bunker that's nearly 300 yards to get over. From here, it's 172. I just wanna be past that because it'll kick out. It'll give me about 200 in or less to the par five. I could hit driver, but water kicks way in. It gets super skinny where driver will land for me from here. So driver's out of play. We wanna make birdie, eagle is the goal but ultimately we wanna be in that fairway to come into this green. I think the smartest, most aggressive play here so we don't bring that water into play is gonna be four iron. In case anybody's wondering, I'm using the Pro V1X yellow ball. It's really nice. Okay, lost my balance. That four iron right there on the tee box is the first time I started thinking golf swing, honestly. So, I hit, I don't know, I, I drop kicked it for sure. Luckily, we're in the middle of the fairway, but we've gotta get those thoughts out. So we're currently in a, a mental challenge battle. To settle in, you would think you'd be settled in with the dream start, but no, if anything, you're more unsettled. That's why we do this. So I'm just gonna focus on where I'm aiming and just golf shot. What's my shot, what's my shot? Swing, thoughts are out. 221, ball is pretty good above my feet. So I'm gonna throw it out pretty good right and just let it uh, draw in. And if it goes straight, that's fine too. It should carry that bunker. Even if it goes in that bunker, I'm fine with that. That's really good. Just how we drew it up. Get over that bunker. Yep, we're on the green. It's the best club in golf, five wood. We have 33 feet, slightly downhill. Greens are rolling 11 and a half. They're rolling good, quick. Little right, uh, left to right break. That's a good looking putt. Settle. Oh. <laughs> it broke to the right, and then right at the end, it turned left in the hole. It's an eagle. It's a three on the par five. I was trying to two putt it. Good thing it hit the hole. That was going like six feet by at least. We're off to a fantastic start. Couldn't ask for any better. Nah, -uh, we're good. Just deal with this up here now. The body's working, we need the mind to work. I'm gonna tell you that I love you. 
fourth hole, 316 yards. So it's a bit out of my driver go zone. Plus there's this water here on the left and it kicks in right at driver landing area. So we just want about 200 and something, give myself about 100 yards in. So we're going back to that four iron. It worked well for us on the last hole. It's still aggressive and smart at the same exact time. And regardless, you still have to hit a good shot. Well, we hit it really bad, but we're in the fairway, so we're okay. I'm 120 at that flag. I'm just gonna go just a touch right of it, be aggressive with a 50 degree wedge. Hit it, hit it good. It's a little farther right than I wanted. My 20 footer. When I think about doing these break 60s, every time I get to the course, I'm like, ah, do I really want to do this video? <laughs> I want to play, well, you know, the tips. But then I start doing them and they are, it's so much fun to play from the forward tees. I'm having a great time. A little right to lefter, a little bit uphill. Let's see if we can't scare that hole again. Oh, I pulled the snot out of it. This is good. See how I do that? I say it's good and it frees me up. I would never do that in a tournament, but out here in nervous land, that's what we do. First part of the day, I think this is the number one handicap hole though. So I'll take it. Fifth hole, today the pin is up front. We're playing a 109 yard par three. And when you play the forward tees, you get a totally different look of the golf course. Totally different. And it's totally spectacular. All while working on the most fundamental, important aspects of your game. So I have the 50 degree, so almost the exact same shot I just had on the last hole for my second shot. It looks like there's a backstop behind the hole. So I feel like I can go long and it could come back a little long and to the left. So I'm aiming about a couple feet left of the hole. And I toe pulled it. So that's a horrible shot. But we're putting. Not great. You can see where I hit that right off the toe. Just towed it. And and the face was slightly shut. It's good. I'm gonna put that in the memory banks, file it away, so that I make better contact on the next time I have a wedge shot. It shouldn't be too long. 40 footer here. <laughs> the touch looks like it goes left to right. Uh oh. That was tracking. I had been hitting them pretty hard. I didn't want to go too far by. But that was right online. Four under through six. Not bad, but we need to be six under on each side to shoot 60. So we had a great start. Now we're just kind of in a lull at the moment, which we've got to break out of. So. That's fine, I got a little nervous. It kind of made me tight. Now we're gonna have to just shake it out and be relaxed to get untight. Six hole, 322 yard par four. It's gonna be our first drive of the day. Little risky, little aggressive, fairly smart, fairly not smart. We're okay with that. I'm hoping there's grass over there. It's a little right, but it turns in that way too, so I think we're good. Just short of this green. Gotta take it over this bunker. I wanna carry this no more than 40 yards. And that's why we do this. This is where we need to work, where everybody needs to work. That was awful. You get a little tight. A little nervous. Should have been a bit more confident there. Mm 
Let me in, let me in the house. Oh, <sighs> luckily we had a second chance. We should have done that the first time. So par here, bummer. But at least it wasn't a drop shot, which it could have been. What if an alligator is A1 real quick? Seventh hole, it's playing 108. So we've got that shot again with that 50 degree. I'm gonna fire it away. Pin's in a pretty gettable spot. Good contact. So we can catch a good look here at birdie. Or, or even better, we can go right at this because we got room bit right and left. Sit. Sit. All right, I still drew it a little more than I wanted, but we got to look. Pro tip for you. If you lose your balance in your swing, chances are your aim is off and you got to kind of recalibrate. So I, lo I lost my balance a few swings down. So there's got to be something going on there. However, we got a good strike on that 50. But maybe uh, 12, 15 feet for birdie. We're in the scoring zone. 12 feet. It's going to come down from left to right. A good amount of break. Bermuda grains growing that way. Slope is this way. Just got to pick the right line. Oh. I know we're all tempted to think, well, okay, probably not going to break 60 in this video. So whatever. Don't, 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 don't think that way. Never think failure. Anything's possible. And we're going to learn some valuable lessons along the way on this journey together. Eighth hole, we got to make something happen now. Feeling a little under pressure. Four basic pars in a row. 437 yard par five. Now I got my line. We have water on the left side here. So I got my line. If I'm around 150 in, that takes me on a certain line that we can avoid all that water on the left. If I tug it a little, that's no problem. We're just in the sand. So a solid drive is the play. One seventy-two left. Bit downwind. I probably could carry this one sixty-five. We're perfect. Just right of the hole. Ball slightly above my feet. No need to uh, swing out of our boots here. Oh, that is tracking perfect. Be the right number. I hit it so good. Might be long. Okay. I hit that seven uh, nearly 200 yards. Tough little shot here, but I think we could do it. Yeah, it's a bit soft here. So I had to take uh, chunking it out of play. Well, we have a bit longer birdie putt than we wanted. 20 foot birdie putt. Not what we had in mind sitting in the fairway, but that's okay. You just gotta deal with it, deal with life. And enjoy the journey. Oh, a little more, a little more. Pretty bad par from where we were. But that is going to happen a lot in this game. But we're still way better currently than we were our first break 60 video. So we got a chance. It ain't over. It's just begun. Ninth hole back hitting towards the uh, Camp Crink Inn. Ooh, beautiful spot. 315 yard par four. I can basically go to the right side of that green and just look come up short. I should be able to cover the water that's there. So we're going driver all the way. Try to get one more birdie to get five under for the front side. There, perfect. So it didn't release at all like I thought it would. I landed exactly where I wanted to. Got zero release. 
So again, file that in the memory banks for later. With that, I should have used the pitching wedge instead of the 54. Now we know. Bit right to left, a little outside right. Should not be struggling for par after that drive. We're about to catch fire. Catch fire. We're catching fire. Four under after nine. We gotta be hot here on the back for sure. We were certainly hot to start. Four under after four. Mm. I think a big mistake a lot of people make is like, okay, let's start over. You're not starting over, but you're gonna just reset in terms of our attitude. But we should do that every hole. Not every nine holes, nothing. It's every hole we reset. So that's what we're doing. All right, 10th hole. 312 yard, par four. We're gonna try to get as close on as possible. <sighs> little downwind, so we got a little help. Let's do it. It'll be a bit short. All right, I just eased up on it. All right, about 50 yards left. Pins in a tough little spot. Nice high 60 degree. Try to get a good look. Okay. So we have about 15 feet here. Not bad from a 50 yard shot. Those are tough little touch shots. So 15 feet is pretty good. I'm feeling the pressure of having to make it. And I don't want to feel the pressure. I want to be freed up. Yeah, it's definitely sliding this direction to the right. So I like where my line is. I'm aiming it out here, slightly down. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be quick. Come on, blackjack putter. PXG blackjack. We're back. We're back in the right direction. Come on, blackjack. We got it. All right. So having the right mindset, right mindset. Now we're gonna reset again for the next hole. Reset every hole. Every hole is a new beginning. Not every nine, not every front nine, but no. Every hole is a new beginning. We gotta go nine under to break 16. 11th hole, 277 yard, par four for us. Little helping wind, we're gonna hit three wood. Try to get this puppy on the green, so we're putting for eagle. Don't be fooled into thinking playing up this close is easier. You still gotta golf your ball. Those little touch shots are always gonna be difficult. And those are the things we have to get better on if we want to improve at the longer courses. This game is hard enough. Come up here. The guys ahead of us, half of them are playing from the forward burgundy tees, their second shot. So I don't know why they don't just start there. Don't do that. Start here, have fun. Loosen it up. Learn to get better. Oh, I snap hooked it. Get down, get down. I hit like back here and flipped it. Bad swing, hopefully we got a good break and we're okay. First bad swing of the day. Well, yeah, yeah, off the tee. So we're gonna need to get a good break here be okay. Let's see what we got. Come on, little ball. Those quick snap hooks are never good. I'm trying not to hit this tree. Okay, I'll take that. I can get up and down from there. Pro tip here. I pitched out. I made sure I missed right because the pin is more left. So this gives me a ton of green to work with pitching back over. Cause the odds of you hitting the green there are ridiculously low. Even if you hit the green, it's gonna roll off the back there. So I wanted to miss out way to the right and short. So I got an easy little, little pitch shot over and we can actually make this, it's totally makeable. <sighs> hit it really good, all right. No damage here. The key for all your short game shots, especially those, is really soft hands, soft grip. Don't squeeze that club too tight. Yeah, I wanted a birdie, but from trouble, I'll take a par any day. 
12th hole here, 400 yard par four from the forward tees. There's a bunker out there in the middle of the fairway. We're trying to carry that. It's a big carry for us from here. We got some helping wind, so that would be the ideal situation. Blew it a bit right. Hit soft. Oh, it did. All right, soft bounce, we're good. Right is okay here. We have 128 to the flag. I really only need to carry about 115 over that bunker and we've got some helping wind. So I just wanna get on, um, 50 degree wedge. I can go right at this, solid shot. Oh no, that was pretty bad. Go, I'm in the bunker. That was one of those bad shots where the tailwind knocks it down because you didn't get the ball in the air. How's your bunker game? You wanna go low, you have to have a good bunker game, right? I don't know, I can see it. Good news is we still have a birdie putt from three, six, about nine feet. Totally makeable, bit downhill. Don't really have to worry about speed at all. Blackjack, rolling it, got another one. I always say, half of your bunker stats are actually putting stats. For some reason, I try harder on my putts after a bunker shot than like a normal 10 footer. I don't know why. I guess you want to get that up and down kind of stat. Hole 13, 277 yard par four, but that's the dog leg. So if we cut the corner, it's a little bit shorter. We're going to go three wood, like a high cutter. It's only about like 240 to carry the bunker guarding the front of the green. So we'll see if we can't get her on. Oh, it's not cutting. I hit it really good. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It carried everything. DOD off the 13th tee box to the, I think the 14th green. Oh, needed one last big hop. That skipped like 12 times. I definitely have a left-handed swing. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I hit it really good, it just hit. And bounced up in here. If I can get my lefty swing with the 60 on, I, this is the only shot. Oh, go. No, I hit that pretty good. The good news is I left myself a lot of green to work with. Because of that, I'm going with a pitching wedge. See, a pitching wedge has a lot more bounce than let's say if even a 50 degree wedge. I need the forgiveness here. Tight lie, soft. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. Gotta make a putt. Uh, okay. A tester for par here. A little left to right. Nine feet. We just had a similar putt. I can go just left edge. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I made it. Oh, it's a bogey. Mm. Ouch. That stung a little. Oh, that hurt. All right, we gotta fight, we gotta keep fighting. That was a hard lip out. Mm. Certainly don't wanna drop any shots. But hey, look, Bryson dropped a shot when he shot his 58, so come on. It can be done. No Bryson. But I'm also playing the forward tee, so there you go. We have 113 to the flag stick here on this par three. It's playing dead into the wind. So I'm gonna play this about 125 and hit a pitching wedge. This is my new finish. <laughs> well, we're putting. Just thinned it. 
Luckily, thinning it into the wind like that works out pretty good. Look at that big old turtle. 24 footer, a little uphill, big breaker from right to left. Come on, come on. Oh. Man, my putting is pretty spot on today for the most part. Picking good lines, greens are pure, hitting it well. I was hoping to get my bogey back right there. But I think we got a par five coming. 15th hole, 332 yard par four. We gotta light it up. We got this, I think we have a par three, then we have a par five and then a par four. So we're good. Anyways, we're focused on this hole right now, right here. Let's do this driver in hand. From the looks of things, where the pin is cut, the farther left down the left side of the fairway, the better. That's where I wanted it and in my head. We have 74 coming in here to this hole. The green has a lot of undulation and slope, so I want to fly it most of the way there. 70 would be a good flight number. That's about a three quarter swing, 60 degree wedge. Oh shoot. Four jet. I thin the snot out of it. Tight lies will do that to you sometimes. Now we have a tricky up and down. Good news is we're getting a lot of short game stuff today. As good as I can do. <laughs> I tell you, that was a great up and down. I'll take that all day long. Now, I wasn't too thrilled with that bladed 60 degree wedge, but we know we build confidence. <laughs> we, we, that shot was exponentially harder than the other one. So, whatever, that's gonna happen. Don't ever lose your focus, your energy, your attitude just because of one bad shot. Cause you never know what's gonna come next. I was super tempted, more than tempted, to be angry after that second shot. So it took every ounce of everything I had to keep it together. I was like, unbelievable. And I really thought I was gonna get a bogey. Those thoughts were in my head for a while. And I was like, okay, erase everything. Clear the mechanism, as Kevin Costner would say. Clear the mechanism for the love of the game and just give it all you got. Do the best you can. Save the shot. That kind of stuff, that kind of momentum, confidence is carries over to whatever tee boxes you play from, no matter what. 119 on the card, par three. This green looks like it has a little baritz in it. That's that little skateboard ramp dip in the center. It's 118 today from the flag. It looks like there's a slope right in front feeding down toward the hole. So I'm gonna go 50 degree wedge, perfect. Number, driving range, stock shot. Go right at it, bad boy. You know, you're right, go in. Roll in the hole. Disappear, disappear. You thought it was gonna disappear, didn't you? That was close, that was close to it. <laughs> all right. That looked a lot closer from the tee box, all that excitement, we're not even close. We're 15 feet short. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can drain a one. Little downhiller, left to right, touch. Grains pulling it to the left. No, grains pulling it to the right. Ah. I kicked it hard right. Little misread on my part there. Par five next, let's do this. 17th. We have a par five, 437. Let's pipe one down there in the fairway. And then from there, put it on the green, get an eagle. That's the goal here. Take no prisoners. Oh no. That a hazard, we're gonna have to hit a provisional. Uh oh. Well, we found the ball, it's a miracle. So I just really need to get it in play 
and make birdie the old fashioned way. So I've got a five iron. And then we just gotta keep it under these limbs ahead of me. And right, we got it out, it's running. It's running forever, okay. Not the end of the world. We have 91 here into a little breeze. So I'm hit, hitting my 104 club, 54 degree wedge. Right at it, should be the perfect number. Here's the deal. Even if you're doing this on your own and you're not gonna reach your goal, which we're obviously not breaking 60 today, don't quit, don't give up. Don't be like a football team that's like, oh, we're gonna lose, so let's not even try. Because then you're just training yourself to be a quitter, and we don't want that. Don't stop until the last putt has dropped. Give it your all, all the time. It will pay off in the long run. Learning how to finish a round of golf is difficult. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It's like your old wrestling coach, just making you grind through the whistle, through the bell, through the period, sprint through the finish line, whatever it is, you can't quit. You gotta give it your all the whole way. 24 feet, pretty horrible wedge. We know where we're gonna be practicing later today. Always stick to your routine. Don't rush just because you're not where you wanna be with your score. Go in, oh, it turns back left at the end. Ooh, that was a good one though. That had a chance. These Bermuda, I don't put on Bermuda too often. I do like them. They're tricky to figure out the whole way. Par after that drive, you kidding me? It's a miracle. 18, Watertown, Camp Creek Golf Club, par four, 332 yards. From here, it's a bit tricky that we gotta, this tree kind of hangs in our way and the green bends around a little bit to the left from this tee box. So as badly as I want to hit driver, I think I brought, I'm gonna go with a four iron. That's why I brought it. The line it aims us might bring this water into play if we just go straight. I don't think that's gonna hurt us. That's pretty good. Okay, 103, straight away. Glad we laid up with that four iron. Let's see if we can't stick one tight, Let's get a kick in birdie, and get to six under. Be right, baby. Just go in, go in, disappear. Oh. It's probably not even close again. <laughs> Let's see if we can't drop this last putt to go six under, which would be really good to seven shots off. But there's just a low point in the round where we gotta keep, keep, we have to learn how to get, we have to learn how to not just get hot, but stay hot. So mental, we had a mental challenge today. We'll get it. All right. Let me know if you want some all right merch. <laughs> Seemed to be a big hit from the last one. Little breaker, nine feet, right to left. Grain is growing left as well. Am I gonna drop it for a 66? Or are we gonna stay at five under 67? What do you think? Been rolling it pretty well. Oh my gosh. That was one of my best putts. Maybe overread it. There you are, my friends. We didn't get this time, but we're gonna keep at it. We did a lot better than last time. 67, we'll tighten a few things up. We'll run it back. Water sound, Camp Creek Inn, right there. Link below, love you guys. See you next time.